Welcome to another episode of Hospitality Insider on Connie TV. I'm Connie Kim, and today we have honored guest, Roger Hill, Chairman and CEO of Gettys Group, who is one of the most leading hospitality design company in the world. Hi, Roger. Welcome to Hospitality Insider. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. And uh, my goodness, it's been, how long was it that uh, you've been in the business? It's been uh, 25 years. Uh, we're celebrating our 25th uh, anniversary right now over this year. And it's been a great uh, experience. And I have to say what's really uh, wonderful for me is as excited as I was to help create this business in our college dorm room. I'm uh, just as excited to be in the business still today. It's it's a fantastic industry to be a part of. I've, I've made such great friends, and uh, I look forward to another great 25 years. So uh, tell us about Gettys Group, what your services are, and what you, who your clients are. Right. Well, we're an interesting organization uh, that we really work at the intersection of brand strategy and business strategy. Mm -hmm. We bring those two things together, helping our clients then solve whatever their needs might be, not only in the hospitality industry, but now more and more people are asking us to work outside the hospitality industry. And we wow. do that through our brand design division, yes. we do that through our development services division, our design division, and our procurement uh, division. And then we created uh, a couple of years ago a thing called Gettys One uh, through our solutions division. So we're in a position to really provide 360 degrees of service for someone or a sliver of that 360 degrees depending on what their needs are. Yeah, and also you have a procurement arm, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We're one of the 10th largest procurement firms in the hospitality industry and source products throughout uh, the world and work not only on projects that we design, but also others. Oh, you do? Okay. That's yeah. so. The difference then, but then just another design company, you really have 360 degree innovation. We truly do, and we can really look at a problem you know, through a set of lenses that others can't because of the fact that we can look at it from a complete 360 degree perspective. Mm -hmm. And what's really exciting about what's going on in our industry today is not only are we creating permanent environments in hotels, but now we're being asked by companies to help and create pop-up uh, environments for them, you know, sort of experimental uh, oh. marketing environments, which are, are really interesting. Yeah, elaborate a little bit about that. Well, uh, recently we are just completed a, a really exciting uh, partnership uh, with PSAV uh, to do a really interesting uh, project for Facebook uh -huh. that's going on uh, right now in San Francisco. Oh. It's a global sales and marketing conference, and we were invited by them to help uh, create an environment that would really inspire their team members that are coming in throughout uh, throughout the world to see this event. Wow, that is a very, very really, innovative business. Really, really exciting, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Th that's great. Yeah. So now that I know you grew in globally and so yes. many offices all right. over the world, right. so can you tell us where you are and how you manage all this global uh, sure. partnership? Well, we, we manage it through having great team members. We're, we're only as good as the team that works within our organization and I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that we've hired and uh, trained and learned and grown together with so many people in our company that uh, average 10 years over a decade and there's a lot of seasoned leadership there and then we continue to hire people that are the future of our organization and that's what's allowed us to grow the way that we have and we work uh, in the Middle East, we work in Asia and yes. in the Americas and all of those markets are really thriving right now. So it's an, it's an exciting time in the hospitality industry because of the fact that all cylinders are really moving at, at, at a great RPM mm -hmm. and, and despite you know, sort of some of the challenges from a global uh, perspective as it relates to what's going on in some of those markets and the economy, you know, we really see great tailwinds and think that uh, there's a strong future, like, at least for the next two to three years in our yeah. industry. Yeah, well, hope it continues more than two, three years, right? I know. Well, I think even two to three years is, is it's, it's a tough it's a tough call, but yes. I, I hope it does too. But I yeah. think there's certainly a lot of built up demand because That's there was right. so much work that was not done, done you know, exactly. over 2010 and yes. 11 and 9 that, you know, there's a lot of pent up uh, momentum there that despite whatever might occur from a geopolitical perspective, mm -hmm. you know, that momentum is going to be there. And I, I certainly do hope uh, that there's uh, even more runway than two or three years, but I, I'm confident two or three years this are going to be more. solid. Yeah. So what do you see? Are there a lot of uh, new build going on too? Well, I think that's what's interesting. You know, when people look at sort of the economic challenges we yes. had in 2008 and 9, 
there was a, a tremendous amount of oversupply in the yeah, housing market. That's but right. what's interesting in the hospitality industry, there was quite a bit more discipline. So mm -hmm. there weren't a lot of full service hotels that were built mm -hmm. into that economic crisis. So yes. we are in a fortunate position in the hospitality industry is that there's not all of that supply as there still is in the housing industry that needs to be absorbed. So mm -hmm. there is starting to be more new construction. It's predominantly in the focus service arena. Uh, but there is some full service uh, work that's being done as well. So it seems like from a, a new development perspective, that's certainly gaining momentum, uh, but uh, there, there's still certainly a, a gradual pace that will continue, I think, because of the smart lending constraints that are being put on by the lenders in the marketplace today. Mm. So now I know Gettys Group is a lot focused in a, a lot of luxury product, mm -hmm. but then I understand that you created uh, Gettys, Gettys One, one yes. for a selected service. Right, exactly. Yeah. Can we uh, go over a little bit? I'd love to say a little about that. I'm, yes. I'm really proud of that, and I think today, you know, for everyone, whether you're a young adult in college or your people like us, you, to stay relevant, you have to continue to innovate. Oh, that's right. And uh, we were fortunate enough to be doing quite a bit of work uh, for Hilton mm -hmm. and uh, Hampton and Homewood. And uh, Kurt Smith and Lynn Cooper within their organizations encouraged us to think about creating a company that could focus on the focus service industry. And the way that we really like to describe Gettys One is when we built the Gettys Group, our goal was to try to become the ultimate driving machine, BMW. And someone can have a seven series experience with us all the way down to a three series experience with us hiring the Gettys Group for any of the services that we just talked about. But obviously there are lots of people that can't afford a BMW, but the Mini Cooper is really a, a beautifully designed car that everyone can afford. And Gettys One is really that to the select service yeah. industry. We took all of the brand design work that we've been doing for Hilton and the great brand design work that other companies have done for Marriott and Starwood, et cetera. And we applied that thinking process mm -hmm. to, to Gettys One and yeah, we can do- Yeah, thought, Roger. Okay, I will. Yeah. yeah, when we come back, we're gonna continue to find out a little bit about selected service that they have created as a Gettys One and what is he doing today for preparing for the future. Thank you for watching. I'm Scott Divert, and I work for Carlson Residor Hotel Group, and you're watching. You're watching. You are watching. You're watching. You're watching. Thank you for watching Connie TV. Connie TV. Connie TV. Connie TV. Connie TV. The first ever internet TV station designed specifically for the hospitality industry. ConnieTV.tv. Welcome back to Hospitality Insider on Connie TV with Roger Hill at Chairman and CEO of Gettys Group and a global interior design company. Hi Roger, thank you so much. So let's continue about this selected service, special Gettys one that you have created. Right, right. I understand that there are over 70% of the hotel rooms are selected service. Right, right. So yes, we cannot ignore that segment. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. So elaborate a little bit more sure. what you do. Well, I think that I think the first thing to talk about as it relates to the quality of design. Right. Today, great design is truly accessible to everyone, which mm -hmm. I'm really proud of, and I'd like to feel like we've played a part of that in the hospitality yes. industry. And the select service industry has really embraced great design. Yes. And uh, we sort of said to ourselves, "Gosh, we've had the opportunity to work on." all these beautiful luxury hotels, beautiful full service hotels. And as I mentioned before, with all this great work that we've been doing with Hilton, uh, you know, Kurt Smith and Lynn Cooper were saying, let's create something that can really focus on the focus service industry. And we were, of course, to your point, the base of the pyramid is massive. And we really wanted to create an offering that could help those individual owners that wanted access to great design, great procurement services, but needed to be able to do it affordably. Right. And that's where Gettys One really came from. It started off with the evolution, you know, decade plus ago, we created Guest Room Express, was then morphed into Fast Track Solutions, and then, you know, Gettys One was born, and, and the success has been in incredible. incredible. In less than oh. two years, we've done over 100 select service hotels. Oh, wow. And, you know, the, 
all of the brands uh, love the fact that mm -hmm. they can get the power of the Gettys Group yes. through Gettys yes, One, yes. and uh, our our clients are thrilled too. So it's a it's a win-win situation, and we're embracing a lot of the unbelievable thinking and thought mm -hmm. that the brands have put into every choice that they make. These select service hotels, there is a ton of research that goes into every one of those touch points, and that's where our brand design wow, division yes. worked extensively with Homewood to mm -hmm. help them now launch a program called Take Flight, mm -hmm. uh, and that's an exciting design uh, program and branding program that they've created to make every Generation 1 Homewood to Generation 9 Homewood relevant, and our brand design division worked collaboratively with them to create that, and now Gettys One can offer to franchisees the ability to cost-effectively implement that solution and that gets back to sort of what we were talking about before and our ability to offer a 360 degree solution oh, to someone yes, if they yeah, want that. Yeah. yeah, you can design. You know, I always said good design doesn't cost you any more money than bad design. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and actually costs less money to, you know, produce right. it. And, yeah. and it's all about understanding yeah. how to spend a dollar and make it look like two. And right. whether you're spending that dollar at Target or whether you're spending that dollar at Hermes, exactly. in both of those environments, you know, you can get great value. And that's what excites us is our ability to provide that kind of exceptional value to a guest that's staying in any one of those hotels. Right. That's a really, really exciting. Yeah. And, I, and I'm proud of it because it's creating jobs, not only for the manufacturers that are building the things yeah. that go into those hotels, but it's helping hoteliers build more properties, renovate yeah. properties, and, and keep our economy going, not yeah. only here in America, but throughout the world. Yeah, make it easy and simple. Right, yeah. exactly. That's great. So Roger, where is all this passion coming from? You know, honestly, I think I, I was very fortunate that I was raised by a couple of entrepreneurs that had nothing to do with the hospitality industry, but a lot of conversation at home for us would revolve around global events and business. And you know, I uh, had an opportunity at a young age to get loaded into the car and start to travel and stay at Holiday Inns, and that it inspired me to be interested in travel. And I've always had a desire to be involved with uh, people and love meeting new people. And I think. I get a lot of energy and fuel from yes. travel. As much as I, I miss being away from my family, uh -huh. I learn so much every yes, day wherever yes. I, I might be. And thankfully, because of technology, we can stay connected to the ones that we love every That's day right. through you know, Facebooking. I'm, I'm in Manila, I'm in Hong Kong, I'm in Rio, I'm in Manhattan, and I'm, I'm talking to the, my children who I love or my wife that way in a way that I couldn't otherwise. And I'm enriching my life and I'm enriching theirs. Yeah. And I share that with the people that I work with and I share that with our clients because yes. all our clients want to be looking into the future. Exactly. And we're really fortunate that we see so much throughout the world mm. that when we're working on a, on a design project, mm -hmm. we can share through technology what we're doing with all our offices and that can help us to create a better solution for our client because we're looking in so many different places. So that passion for striving for excellence mm -hmm. and wanting to really continue to improve ourselves and myself is I want to always keep learning. Yes. I'm very excited about getting up every day and doing what we do and I am thrilled when I can help uh, people not only that work in our organization grow and be more successful personally and professionally. I, I'm, a, I'm a person that's uh, really interested in balance and helping people understand the importance of loving what they do but yes. if they're not happy with themselves and not happy at home, right. hard to be you know successful at work too. So I, I feel really fortunate and I honestly am as excited as I was when we started the business 25 years ago and look forward to another wonderful in another 25, 25 years. years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's the whole global view that you have that right. traveling all over the place and the, the balancing of your personal life and yeah, right. what is happiness, you know? We got to have all that together. Yeah. And the to beauty of taking risks and so many people do today but didn't I think when we started our business we started our business was when we were really young, so yes. I'm still, in my mind, very young, young That's and right. have, have a lot of years to still make a difference but, and but. not only do good things for us, but you know, give back and make the world a better place. Too. Yes, yes, that is a really great goal. Right. So now, what you're thinking? Is your family, your children, are interested in also in? hotel or this business? Well, our children uh, love the, the hospitality industry, uh -huh. you know, because my wife works in the industry as well on the real estate side and and we're always exploring and traveling together and uh, whether we're at a, a great select service hotel or at a luxury hotel, they're always evaluating it uh, through their Already. eyes. And yes, yes. today, if you want to be relevant, our son's 14, mm -hmm. our daughter's 12, you know, those millennials are a big part That's of right. travel. So they're too- Hold it though. Okay. Okay. 
when we come back, we're going to talk about what is his future plan and how he's maximizing ROIs for his customers. Don't go away. I am Fausto Jimenez, Vice President for Standards at Grupo Posadas, and you're watching. You are watching. And you're watching. You are watching. You are watching. Connie TV. Connie TV. And Connie TV. Connie TV. Connie TV. Dot TV. Welcome back to Hospitality Insider with Roger Hill at Gettys Group, the leading hospitality design and procurement and 360 degree innovation company. Thank you so much, Roger, for all these great insights that you share. And so it's so great that you have all your family involved in the into same concept and you share together. And uh, just tell us a little bit about how you see the whole uh, global vision of it is all happening together. All right, well, I think from, uh, from our, our, our company's perspective, we want to continue to be relevant. And I think the best way to do that is to always be challenging ourselves, to reinvent ourselves the same way that our hotel owners or any of the industries that we're working in want to you know, basically try to do that every day. And what's really exciting, but at the same time extremely challenging, yes. is the speed at which that innovation is occurring. Exactly. You know, so today, if you happen to have an electronic device that's connected to the internet, you can create a brand like that. Yes. And that can either be incredibly successful or incredibly damaging and you've got to protect your brand in relationship to what's going on with social media as it relates to your brand. So as it relates to you know, our family, I love the fact that you know, I learn from our children every day in relationship to how oh, they yes. get information. And I also you know, learn from technology. them right, how they use technology and yes. how they want to use technology not only in the working environment when they're in a hotel or at school or when they're traveling. And you know, today, understanding how to use technology in an elegant way and then understanding how to help our clients make sure that they are able to use it and offer it in a way that not only is elegant but it has to be financially successful for That's them too. Right. I think a big challenge that owners are having today is you know, guests want more and more access, they want more and more data, but they don't understand that that has to come with a cost. So mm -hmm. educating uh, hotel guests to understand that there have to be different pipes that you pay for. Some can be free, but if you want it to be connected to a giant digital highway, mm -hmm. you need to, you know, understand that there's a cost associated right. with that. Right. So I think, you know, we, we try to look at technology, understand what's happening in that industry and apply that to our industry so we can continue to be relevant. So right. through our brand design division, you know, we're now working on helping to develop and create digital messages, not only for hotels, but for manufacturers in our industry and working with other technology mm -hmm. companies to really look at, you know, how will guests check in in the future? Right. How will manufacturers sell their products right. in the future? How will designers get information mm -hmm. and be inspired in the future? Mm -hmm. How will uh, guests make a decision on what hotel that they want to stay mm -hmm. in? Uh, how will someone choose between a globally recognized brand or a brand of one? Right. Today we've really seen, not only through our research, but uh, through the research that other organizations have done, that people in, of, of a millennial generation or you know, of that psychographic, today are much more interested in collecting experiences yes. as opposed to things. Yes. And personal experiences. Personal experiences, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that can be at a really interesting little cafe yes. that you know the average check might be $20, yes. or it can be going to a Daniel Balud restaurant, or going to Next, uh, or, you know, Alinea and or, or a hotel that relates to that too. And mm -hmm. what's interesting today is, you know, to be able to create a brand experience where that message can cut through all the clutter yes. and you and I as a traveler can make a decision quickly on what we want to experience when we drop into Dubrovnik or mm -hmm. we drop into London or New that's York right. City or, yeah. or Hong Kong. There's a lot of information out there that's uh, available and it's important for us to understand how to look through that lens, gather all that information. We, we pride ourselves in going through a major discovery pro process, whatever kind of work we're doing. Yes. And then we take all that information, we use that to 
brainstorm, we use that to run creative workshops, and then we use that information to then rapidly prototype some ideas, and then we pump out solutions. But today we need to be able to do all that extremely rapidly well, absolutely. to yeah. stay relevant and be you know, at the top yeah, of our game. Of time, and, yeah, you know, yeah, we're, yeah. we're proud of the fact that we are at the top mm -hmm. of our game, but we're not going to take that for granted. Yes. I think just like a good author, you know, we always have to be thinking about the next book we're exactly going to write right. or yeah. the screenplay yeah. that we're creating. All right. So now, Roger, I know that Gettys Group is very big into sustainability. Mm -hmm. So can we touch base a little bit about what is your initiative and how you evaluate your sustainability? Right. Well, I think what's, what's become great about sustainability is you can, we can be very focused on that without having to compromise as it relates to design quality or for owners that we're working with there's not a, a premium associated with it the way it was when it was ori originally came into the marketplace. So we approach sustainability sometimes in a very forward way with our clients or some of them that are like, mm, not sure about that. We will do it in an opaque way where we'll select things that we know may be made out of recycled products or are more energy efficient. And you know we're doing the right thing, but not necessarily forcing them to understand that. Or we will do it in a way where they're like, absolutely, we want to we want to source within a 500 mile radius, and we want to be sure to do everything that we can. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we put our money where our mouth is. In addition to providing all the services that you and I have discussed already, we also are investors in hotels, and many of the hotels that we our investors in are LEED certified, and we're proud of the fact that they are hotels that, where that is an important component of their success. And consumers today are paying attention to that right, and are interested right, right. in staying in, in hotels where that kind yeah. of experience You're can right. occur. Uh, so. so now that we're running out of time, yes. but I would love to have you tell us some of the great success project. And so, you know, anywhere globally, that from China and so forth, can give us a sure. great. Sure, yeah. Well, uh, starting in Asia, you know, uh, we were fortunate enough to be involved uh, with the City of Dreams and we designed the Hard Rock in Macau, which has been an incredibly successful hotel, you know, for the owners, incredibly successful for the Hard Rock brand, mm -hmm. and um, you know, one that we are extremely proud of. Also in Asia, we recently completed renovating all the guest rooms and suites at the Peninsula Hotel in Hong Kong in collaboration uh, with uh, Peninsula and their in-house design team and our design team uh, led by Ariana Steinbeck and our office in Hong Kong. And that uh, renovation just turned out beautifully and you know, Mr. Kadori's vision was to you know, be involved and create uh, a design solution that would not only be relevant today but would be relevant well into the future and really wanted to, to maximize in creating an environment that aesthetically was extremely pleasing but also the backbone not only as it relates to te technology, mechanical systems were all refined in a way where a guest could have a, just a wonderful experience from a total 360 degree you know, perspective. And there are uh, so many more projects that I know you have just everything in there we're going to have some pictures to show but before we close i would like to you to share some of your wisdom what is it that somebody who want to be like you right that what is your wisdom what is the success formula yeah well nice of you i i don't know if i have a, a lot of wisdom to impart but i would say the most challenging thing whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you are working within a large organization, Fortune 100, and you're trying to affect change, is if you're really passionate about something and you feel strongly about your idea and are able to find and do the research that supports that, then you should not accept no as an answer. You want to continue to be, I love to say, be polite and persistent and you know, get to the right people that will allow you to be able to you know, test your idea in a, in a broader way and um, nine times out of 10, if you've really come up with a good idea, the biggest challenge is taking that good idea and bringing it's it to implement. reality. So that's where you have to be very, very persistent and just Discipline. not give up. Yes. And, um, and then you also need to understand that failure is okay too. I mean, fortunately for us, we've had uh, some mistakes but you know, there are many more successes we've had than mistakes, but you can learn from those mistakes. The, the, the thing in relationship to wisdom that I like to say is, you know, if you continue to repeat the same mistake, then that's not being very wise. Right. So we wanna encourage people to not be afraid to do different things. Let's learn from them, but let's not repeat them. Right. 
Well, thank you so much, it's Roger. It's really been a pleasure. Congratulations a to you. Uh, I'm, uh, I hope uh, your new network's a great success and uh, wish you many more years of success in the industry because you certainly are an icon in this industry as well. And thank you so much, Roger, for such a kind word. Thank you for watching Hospitality Insider with Roger Hill today. If you want to know more about Roger Hill or Gettys Group, please go to ConnieTV.tv. Congratulations, Connie TV. Congratulations, Connie TV. Congratulations, Connie TV. The first online internet TV station for the hospitality industry. Congratulations, Connie TV. If you have not started watching it, you definitely should. Join us now. Thank you.